Sioux City has a long history of participating in one of man's ancient traditions, brewing beer. In the 1860s, Rudolph Seltzer opened the first brewery in Sioux City, followed by Sioux City Brewery, which in the 1870s was one of the largest breweries in Iowa. Despite two prohibitions, Sioux City was the off and on home of two other breweries, Sioux City Brewing and Interstate Brewing. Many locals remember the famous Heidelbrau beer produced by the Sioux City Brewing Company until they closed in 1958. More recently, the popular 4th Street Brewing Company sold pub food and grape beer until closing in 2002. Despite this rich and malty past, Sioux City, the fourth largest city in Iowa, is without its own brewery in the middle of a craft beer renaissance. We are about to change that. My name is Dave Winslow. I am a storm chaser, 8th grade science teacher, avid gardener, father, and obsessive home brewer. Jackson Street Brewing will be a microbrewery and taproom. What this means is that we will brew beer on site and sell this in regular glasses, growlers to go, and we will start a small scale distribution of cakes to local bars and restaurants. As business grows, we will purchase a larger brewing system to get our beer into more tri-state establishments. Starting a brewery is an incredible undertaking. But we don't mind a challenge. We own a two-acre orchard that's already producing apples and pears for hard cider, and we grow large quantities of pumpkins, raspberries, apricots, and nearly a dozen varieties of hops. We want to showcase the freshness of local ingredients and show that Iowa can produce some outstanding beer. In our property search, it was very important to stick to our core principles of being downtown and close to other attractions and businesses. This is the front of our leased building at 607 and a half Fifth Street, right in between Nebraska and Jackson Street. The people who are attracted to microbreweries and places like mine are attracted to the, the experience of just uh, sharing something enjoyable with their friends and family. Bringing in new businesses is good for business. And if there's, we're, we're all very supportive of each other. In the past year, I've brewed well over 50 batches of beer. These recipes have been made over and over again, and we've served beer at several events to gain customer feedback. We have some outstanding recipes, like our double IPA, that have won first place at home brewing contests. In order for us to be a successful brewery, we have to upscale our pilot brew system to a microbrewery size system. That'll be about 100 gallons of beer. That's 20 times what we're brewing on our five gallon system. We are putting almost all of our own savings into this project, along with countless hours of sweat equity into our leased property. The more money we can raise, the more fermenters we can afford, and for you, that means more unique brews to try.